In today's consumer news, since 1990, about a thousand children have died in hot cars. And as Anthony Puro reports, more incidents are happening again this summer. Experts say it could happen to anyone. How's it going, kiddo? Last month, Phoenix police officers smashed out a car window to rescue a two-year-old that was burning up in his car seat. The mother had just returned from the grocery store and accidentally locked her keys inside. After he was checked out, it, it was great to see he's playing with his Legos and we're having a good time. But unfortunately, these cases often end in tragedy. Just a few weeks later, a seven-month-old boy died at a mall outside of Phoenix after being left in a parked vehicle for about two hours. Don't think that this can't happen to you. It can happen to anyone. Diona Bayan lost her daughter Aslan in 2004. Her babysitter had the child in the back seat of the car while running errands. The sitter arrived at her destination. She forgot that she had her with her. Aslan was left inside for almost an hour and died after suffering heat stroke. I keep hoping for the day that no other family um, suffers this. Bayan now works with the advocacy group Kids in Cars, which says 14 children have died in hot vehicles so far this year. There are ways to prevent this kind of tragedy. You can put your phone, wallet, or purse in the back seat with your child, which will serve as a reminder. It's also important to set up alerts with your child's school or daycare. If your child doesn't arrive at that specific time that they're giving you a phone call to see where your child is. And Bayan says we've seen many cases of kids climbing into an empty car and accidentally locking themselves inside. Parents should always lock their car doors because children do like to play and they like to play hide and seek. Simple steps that can help save lives. Anthony Pura, CBS News, Los Angeles. Several newer cars have technology to alert the driver that a child is in the back seat. Currently, there is legislation in Congress that would make the warning mandatory in all new vehicles. The federal government has opened a formal investigation of Tesla's autopilot system. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is investigating the partially automated driving system, citing nearly a dozen crashes with parked emergency vehicles. The investigation covers the models Y, X, S, and 3 from 2014 through 2021. The agency has identified 11 crashes since 2018, and Tesla's on autopilot or traffic aware cruise control that have hit vehicles with flashing lights, flares, and illuminated arrow board or cones warning of hazards. Still to come at four, now is the time to start getting your kids back to their school sleep routines. We have advice from an expert next.